the marsh crocodiles that we have here. They arrived here in 1979 and who knows how long they will be with us for. I've always admired them. I'm in awe of them. I mean, you, to see a really big crocodile and to watch the behaviour of ours here, it really is uh, inspiring. Uh, our big saltwater crocodiles here, they would never miss an opportunity to try and grab us if they could, and they will just very, very quietly follow you around the enclosure underwater, thinking that they can't be seen. They've been around, it said, for 60 million years, almost unaltered. They have to be supremely successful uh, in their niche. If it weren't for man with his gun, they would be top dog. Because the, um, we can't go in with these ones, we have to hang the food over on a fishing line and they jump out of the water using their back legs and they spring out of the water. They use like the base of their tail. Yeah. Their element is water. If somebody fell into the water with them, that would be the end of them. But um, once, they're, once the pools are drained or they're out on land, they are relatively easy to accommodate and look after. So at this time of year we try and feed them um, between well, seven days to ten days. So so every, every seven to ten days? Yeah, right. but only in the summertime. They don't get fed at all in the winter. If anything, it gives exercise to the animals. Uh, they hunt and they display their normal behaviour. I mean, it was only last year that in Australia uh, a, a crocodile, the same species we've got here, just leapt up and took a, a, a tourist out of a canoe and that was the end of him. And it's exactly the same behaviour that we're showing here, that they all just leap for their food. It's not a problem. How long have you been doing this then, Sophie? Uh, I've been working here for, it'll be 10 years in December. Really? Yeah. I started just when another lady went off to have her children. I went and took over from her. Wow. And a really kind of special place to work? Oh yeah, I love it. I wouldn't want to do anything else. <laughs> I'm not the kind of girl to sit on an off in an office working in there. It drives me nuts. So we've just been seeing you, you feeding the crocodiles. That is a abs you know, sort of pun intended. That is a raw experience, isn't it? I mean, that is. I love doing it, especially in the summer well, because we don't do it in the winter. But in the summer, it's a nice job to do. Yeah. So what's the deal there? I mean, you don't feed them in the in the winter. No, they we feed them from April to October. Right. And uh, they normally let us know when they've had enough. Really. And they kind of like semi hibernate. So. The American alligator, he can go down and they can be underwater for about eight hours and not have to worry about really? it. Really? What, and not breathe? Yeah. And then they that. come up and take some more air. It's a kind of like, yeah, like they semi-hibernate. A lot of visitors say when they come round in the winter, oh my God, is he dead? I was like, no, he's just well, I never. under the water. Wow.